Well, good afternoon, First Baptist Carlsbad family. Pastor Howell here with the Daily Word of Encouragement on Thursday, August 27th, 2020. Hard to believe uh, we're getting near the end of August, but I uh, hope you're having a great week. Uh, today uh, is kind of throwback Thursday across social media, and so uh, we've been talking about blessings this week in our uh, daily words of encouragement. Um, and I wanted to share sort of a throwback uh, to back in the mid-90s when uh, Brenda and I uh, went to Southern Baptist Theological Seminary in Louisville, Kentucky. I had New Testament uh, with Professor James Blevins, uh, who taught us many things that we still use to this day, one of which is the Greek word for a blessing or blessed. And that is Makarios, and uh, Dr. Blevins was uh, uh, famous for uh, sharing with his students uh, in just uh, really uh, ways that, that brought home and brought to life uh, the New Testament and uh, the words that were used. And so many times uh, in Scripture we kind of read through, and we might see the word blessed or blessing or blessing, and sort of like Eeyore, if you ever watched uh, Winnie the Pooh, uh, you may recognize Eeyore, kind of really just kind of a down in the dumps, uh, well, woe is me, and uh, poor pitiful me. And that's sometimes how we, even as Christians, when we come across uh, the word blessed or blessing, uh, particularly when Jesus um, says that we're blessed, uh, we kind of read it like Eeyore, oh, I guess I'm blessed. But uh, Dr. Blevins wanted to remind us that in the Greek, when we read blessing and when we translate it um, into the English, it's uh, blessing makarios. Woo! And some of you have seen that uh, happen here at First Baptist and other churches I've pastored. And so uh, whenever we talk about blessing like this, uh, I usually will uh, remind folks that uh, when, when God says we're blessed, it's blessed makarios. Woo! So this goes all the way back to uh, Dr. Blevins' uh, throwback uh, to the mid-90s when we were at Southern. Uh, but as we think about blessings today, uh, we think about really the greatest sermon that was ever preached. And I believe that's the Sermon on the Mount. Uh, Jesus uh, preached that perfectly. He is the perfect one, the only one that uh, is perfect. And he preached uh, a perfect sermon in the Sermon on the Mount. And the very first words that he would share... Um, in that Sermon on the Mount, and we have come to know as the Beatitudes or the Blessings. Um, and these uh, uh, words in the Greek are makarios. Again, so I, I want to share with you uh, these blessings or Beatitudes that we find in Matthew chapter 5, beginning in the, verse 3 uh, through verse 12. Uh, Jesus uh, began to teach, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are those who mourn. Uh, for they will be comforted. Uh, blessed are the humble, or are the meek, for they will inherit the earth. Now, uh, blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be filled or satisfied. Uh, blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they will see God. Now, uh, blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called sons of God. Uh, we certainly need peacemakers today in, in our culture, in our nation. And blessed are those who are persecuted because of righteousness, for the kingdom of heaven is, do it, is theirs. That, that last one's not the exact way we want to be blessed through persecution. Jesus, in fact, would uh, take two more uh, verses here um, in Matthew to kind of flesh that out uh, about uh, blessing that we receive even in the midst of persecution. You are blessed when they insult you and persecute you and falsely say every kind of evil against you because of me. That, that was happening in the first century. That is happening today in, in the 20th, 21st century in 2020. Be glad and rejoice because your reward is great in heaven. For that is how they persecuted the prophets who were before you. Uh, throughout Scripture, and particularly throughout the New Testament, uh, we are blessed. We're a blessed people. Jesus says we're blessed. And so when we uh, read in Scripture, when we're encouraged in Scripture, now I would just uh, remind you as you read along, uh, particularly in the New Testament, as you come across that word blessed, whether it's in the Sermon on the Mount or anywhere else uh, in Scripture, in your mind, even if you don't do it outwardly, in your mind, uh, read it as blessed, Makarios, because when God says we're blessed, we are truly blessed 
indeed. I hope you have a wonderful, blessed rest of your day in the Lord, and we will look forward to being back with you again tomorrow um, for another daily word of encouragement as we uh, preview Sunday uh, worship uh, coming up this weekend. God bless you.